I was just out here in my lawn today doing something that's long overdue for the summer, but at least this year I get to do it. Transplanting my Lily of the Valleys. Oh, at some point I hope this is going to be a very lovely area down in here. A lot of the Lily of the Valleys have already begun to take and the ones that I've transplanted over the last couple of years. But one day hopefully this will all be a tropical paradise of Lily of the Valleys. I mean, this, this area that I'm transplanting is about the worst spot in the world in a way because it's all rocky. I mean, it's tough to transplant the stuff and put it in here. But anyways, I thought of it as an encouraging kind of a thing to Christians who are using God's Word to try to help folks. You know, Jesus mentioned in where he's talking about the parable of the sower, you know, that some of the seeds fell upon good ground, some fell on stony ground, some on dry, you know, and and uh, anyways, I'm going to demonstrate here, just, you know, as we carry along with this I thought, as I say, this is just sort of encourage Christians. As I, uh, you know, find a spot where I can actually dig in, whoops, it would help if I get the camera on the spot. You know, think of the shovel as, as God's Word. The Bible says that God's Word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. I'll say no sword, but it's got two edges on it anyway. So we're cutting down in here. We're working on trying to trying to plant something that's good. So uh, I can't, uh, with all my power, smash uh, into this here. I can't uh, do it. But the shovel's doing a halfway decent job anyway. Anyways, it gets very discouraging trying to work doing this because uh, yeah, it just takes forever. But something is being accomplished. And that's the way we should be about it when God, God's Word is used. Sometimes we don't see the immediate results. And it, it just seems to take forever. But God's patient with those who He works with with His Word. So all we have to do is keep using it. Keep using God's Word. Eventually, you will, well not you, God will prevail. God will uh, make His Word effective. Uh, and your work will not be in vain. Little by little, that which is not needed will be removed. The ground is actually made to be fallow, is that the word? I don't know. God will prepare the soil and make it workable if the soil, the heart, is uh, yielded to him. Like this ground's not fighting me. This ground's allowing itself to be worked with. Taking out the stony places of the heart. Chuck these over where they're more effective. In between my little stony path. She's helping me for a second. Oh, my video, my videographer is being, is being called to lunch. So there, now the ground has all been prepared. So now something better can be planted. What? <laughs> well, it doesn't look too swift now, but providing it doesn't croak stays alive, but it'll be better. All right? And that's what God can do with you if you allow Him. Make something better of your life. But those of you that are using God's Word to help others, don't get discouraged. Don't quit. For it says in the Bible, Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season ye shall reap if ye faint not. Don't quit. Keep using God's Word.